Let's get more on this now from James Carville down in New Orleans, our GMA political contributor, Democratic strategist. And James, I want to get to the poll in just a second. But first, uh, Anthony Weiner, can he survive this? I don't know. I, I mean, it, it depends. If, if nothing else comes out, I, I get, and there's nothing illegal, I, I, I probably can hang on to at least to the election, and who knows what his district's going to look like. But if the facts keep coming out more and more, and people start speaking out, and there's, they, he talked on a congressional phone or something like that, it's going to be it's going to be iffy. And, and one of the reasons is he's a talented guy, but he's not a particularly popular guy in the caucus. And, uh, they're, they're really mad at him. You can just see that uh, former Speaker Pelosi is furious. And, you, you can, you her, she wouldn't be at this kind of behavior. You certainly can see that. And you also saw Republicans. I was in contact with a couple of top Republicans yesterday afternoon, and they're immediately saying Democrats uh, are hypocritical. You know, when Republican Chris Lee has that bare-chested photo, <clears throat> he resigns. Immediately, Democrats should push uh, Wiener out in the same way. Will this become yeah. a political problem for Democrats as a whole if he doesn't get out? They're mighty selective. Uh, they, they, David Vetter didn't push to resign. John Ensign didn't push to resign. It took a while for him to push Mark Foley to resign. So a little, little bit. But the Democrats are certainly calling for an ethics investigation, which is their right to do. Um, yeah, I, 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 and of course, there's always a little hypocrisy going on in these things. I think the public is just living at this. That it just seems so distracted to them when their lives are so discombobulated by this political well, economic time. It, exactly. Really about this. And our poll shows how angry people are about the economy right now, and that's causing some real trouble for President Obama. And does it lead you to think that he's going to have to start talking about the economy in a different way, maybe embracing the pain that people are feeling a little bit more and not emphasizing the positive news? Or does he have to do both? Uh, I, I think when he, when he talks about the positive news, I actually think it makes people angry. Uh, not only do I think it's not the right thing to do, I think it's counterproductive. And, and it tells people that he doesn't understand what's going on in their lives. Uh, there are any number of things that, that he can talk about, but boy, he's got to get in there and, and have his sleeves. And I'm fighting this every day, you know, every day. These are the things that we're doing. These are the things we need to do. This is where I've been stopped. I understand what's going on in your life. Uh, people feel like Washington is, is, is an utterly corrupt place that pays no attention to them. And I got to tell you that the, the president needs to go to Camp David and, and spend a good two days and, and to get the proper economic message, uh, because right now they don't have it. And, and James, how do you explain why Mitt Romney is doing so much better than the other Republicans in the head to head with President Obama? Well, caveat, because, you know, these early polls, the reason that people say yeah. that they're notoriously unpredictable is because they're notoriously unpredictable. He's more known. And he, he's run before, and all of them have, they know something that is kind of wrong with all of the other candidates, where Romney, to, to most voters, kind of liked the fact that he did the health care thing in Massachusetts, probably. And, uh, you know, he does have, to the extent that he has a persona out there, is that it, it, it's kind of an economic thing, people recognize it. And I'm not surprised that he's doing a, 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 a little better than other Republicans, and I'm not surprised that Palin's doing a lot worse. I, I would expect that. Okay, James Carville, thanks very much. Important caveat on the early polls. Thank you.